Good day fellow learners once again. This is your mentor, your fact check buddy Ray Gapus joining you for pointer set number 50. Welcome to our learning and teaching session on the next generation NCLEX RN. And before we start, may I once again ask you to join us in this mission. Our goal is to provide free NCLEX RN application and review to 100 nurses. We've done this successfully in the past two years and to help us achieve this, may I ask you just one thing, watch and finish the ads in our videos and thank you in advance for doing so. Now on to our pointers number 50. But before that, let me share with you some inspirational messages from G, one of our pastors recently. Dear Sir Ray, good morning po. I passed the NCLEX last May 6, 2024. As someone who graduated in 2007 but didn't practice as a full-fledged nurse, your mentorship means even more. Your guidance has reignited my passion and belief in my abilities. Your live lectures were not just sessions of learning but moments of inspiration and motivation. Your passion and dedication to your craft shown through every word you spoke, instilling in us the belief that we could overcome any obstacle. Despite my doubts and fears, your unwavering faith in our abilities propelled me forward. So this is her recipe for success. I attended the online comprehensive review, two cycles, boot camp last April, three quick fixes, two online and one face-to-face. -face. I diligently followed your program. That's the key follow our success recipe. We're going to create one for you. It's different for each student. Lahat po ng books nyo, binasa ko. God knows ilang beses. So she read all my books and text 311 Pharmacology and Nursing Reminder Sheets. But yung pinaka naging blessed charm ko is your ABC of passing the NPEX RN. Kahit saan ako magpunta, dala ko po yun. Thank you so much sa lahat ng bumubuo ng RAGRS. Lahat po kayo the best. Okay? So, and she... She actually would want to share her journey with us, and this is the continuation of her testimonial. Reflecting on my journey, I can't help but be overwhelmed with gratitude for your unwavering support and encouragement. The day I returned to Baguio for the boot camp, the second boot camp, I was filled with apprehension, expecting a different reception after my previous attempt. But your warm embrace and words of encouragement melted away all my fears, reminding me that I was not alone in this journey. Niyakap niyo po ako, so I hugged her and said, I was waiting for you. Tuloy lang, kaya yan. I was expecting, Hoy, bruha, nandito ka na naman. <laughs> Of course, I'm not going to say that. As I move forward, I carry with me the lessons you imparted and the encouragement you provided. I pray that God continues to bless you abundantly as you continue to impact the lives and build your legacy. May you find true joy and peace surpassing anything this world can offer. Mahal po kita. With heartfelt gratitude, Jenison Grace Gina Tavio, USRN, New York Board of Nursing. Congratulations, G. And... On to our first question that we need to ask ourselves when we're preparing to take the next generation and text RN. Of course, that question is very important. What do I need to study? And the answer should always come from an expert opinion, not the false prophets of the NGN or the prophets of doom, which abound on the internet. You have to check on whether they have the experience to share with you what they think you should know related to the text. Okay? So, our NPLEX RN alert is actually your clonidine transdermal patch. So, this drug is indicated for the treatment of hypertension. How does it work? It relaxes the blood vessels. In essence, it enhances blood circulation when the blood vessels dilate. So, since it dilates the blood vessels, this could potentially cause dizziness. So it's very important to note that the client could have orthostatic hypotension, which means that we need to instruct the client that when they're standing up from a lying down position, they need to sit up for a while, dangle their legs for a few minutes, and after that, stand up. They should not be immediately standing up from a lying down position. Once again, they should not be 
standing up immediately from a lying down position. So clonidine transdermal may cause itching or redness of the skin. And this is important for the client to note. Now in a client with clonidine transdermal, call the physician if any of these occurs. Remember the three C's, clumsiness, which means their blood pressure could be fluctuating or they're having some um, muscle weakness that could be related to the side effects of the drug confusion, and of course, constricted pupils. Remember the three Cs? Clumsiness, confusion, and constricted pupils. So what do we need to instruct the client? We need to tell the client that they may have to take antihypertensive medications for the rest of their lives. So the challenge would be health maintenance. And this could be altered if these clients, they are living a very busy life. Okay, so when clonidine transdermal is prescribed by the doctor, as if the client is taking CAT, meaning calcium channel and beta blockers, example of calcium channel blocker would be your diltiazem, and your beta blockers would be your propranolol, they're taking alcohol or tricyclic antidepressants like nortriptyline, amitriptyline. Now, why? Because these drugs may potentially worsen the side effects of the drug and so therefore the client could become more clumsy the client will become more dizzy or drowsy and so it's very important to tell the physician because these drugs needs to be clarified as the doctor may want to substitute other drugs or adjust the dosage okay so when using clonidine patch what are the things that we need to tell our client on discharge in other words the discharge instructions that we have to provide our client. First, change the patch on the same day of the week. So each pack has actually four medicated patches and four adhesive covers, which simply means that the client will be using one pack for a month and one medicated patch for one week. So what is the most important thing that the client should decide whenever they open a pack of your clonidine. They have to decide their patch change day. So if they decide to change the patch every Sunday, then they have to do it consistently. Now there's some issues. What if the client did not notice that the patch got dislodged? So they can actually apply a new patch and then change their patch change day. Now what if, for example, the client knew that the patch got dislodged on a Friday, they're supposed to change it on a Sunday, but when they tried to reapply it, it doesn't attach anymore. So what can be done? Then wait for the next patch change day and then apply a new one. So in which case, it's very important for the client to be consistent on their patch change day. However, if the patch becomes loose on a Tuesday and their patch change day is still on the, Sunday, on the Sunday, the next Sunday, so what they can do is to apply a new one but only use it from Wednesday to Sunday. So they will need to be consistent in changing their patch every Sunday, okay? And then... So that the patch delivers the expected amount of the drug, we tell our clients, do not cut the patch, apply it in an area with no hair and no scars, and let the patch stay in place for seven days even when they intend to shower, take a bath, or swim. And we tell them to apply a new patch if the first one becomes too loose. But use that patch on only on the remaining days before your patch change day. For example, if the patch became too loose on a Wednesday and your patch change day is on the Sunday, so you may apply a new patch, but only until Sunday. On your patch change day, which is Sunday, you need to apply a new one. Okay, so use different area of the skin for each application to prevent skin irritation. And most importantly, if the client will undergo magnetic resonance imaging, we have to inform the doctor if the client has a clonidine patch. Why? Because a skin irritation may occur 
when MRI is done with the patch on. So which means the doctor may decide to have the patch removed when the client undergoes MRI. So join these hundreds of thousands and puzzers in of passers in more than 30 countries worldwide who all pass the next generation NPLEX RN with the Ray Gapo system. Our secret? We teach them how to study with the use of technology that can only be found in our system, like publish learning tools that are world class. And of course, here's one passer to share with you her success recipe. Her name is Anna. Good evening, Sir Ray. Maraming maraming salamat po sa napaka-comprehensibong lecture nyo. I took the test last Wednesday and passed it. Thank you, Lord. Ginawa niya kayong instrumento para makatulong sa lahat ng nurses na nangarap na makapunta ng Amerika. So, saying thank you so much. She took the test last Wednesday and she passed it. And she prays that I would still be around to help more nurses in the coming years. Okay? And then, she continues. Again, walang sound po sa salamat po sa inyo. By the way, nakatulong po sa akin ang books nyo. NRS, Pharmacology, Highly Recommended. And the 311, twice ko po binasa. naka po ako ng quick fix once lang, pero tumatak sa akin ang mga lectures nyo. Maraming salamat po, Sir Ray, and the rest of the team gapos. Ana Melissa, USRN. So, she's simply saying, thank you so much. I read all... Your three books, Nursing Reminder Sheet, Pharmacology, which she highly recommends, and NCLEX 311, she read it twice, and she attended the quick fix in which all the lectures got imprinted in her mind, okay? So she's thanking all the members of the Ray Gapo system team for her accomplishment. And don't forget, we also have our course shells, which you can open anytime, anywhere, and you can engage in any of the eight activities that are available in the course shell. And the third, take note, you have to be in a conducive environment, okay, to keep your sense of focus. So at the Ray Gapo system, we're, all, we're the only test preparations center in the world with our own next generation NCLEX simulation room that you can use for free. You just have to come here and engage in our tools. And we keep our class to a comfortable minimum number of students, okay? So we'd like to invite you for the next generation NCLEX RN Flex, the most flexible test prep class for the NCLEX RN. And the fee starts at 3,499, inclusive of three books, your choice of live face-to-face -face class, live virtual class, on-demand and limited video recorded lessons, the QBank and the three books, plus the NG and strategies and sample questions by yours truly. So once again, I'll see you in our quick fix ses session, okay? So this has been your mentor, your fact check by the Ray Gapus at your service. And I'll see you in our next learning and teaching engagement. I hope you learned something today. Take care.